So you want to know why you struggle to get ahead in life? It's because people can't trust you as far as they can throw you. Remember, what's done in the dark always comes to light. And I learned that at a real young age. In fact, I was 12 years old. Pops came in with a brand new BB gun. I was like, oh, Pops, is that BB gun for me? He's like, yes, son. Got you a BB gun. Make sure you're responsible with it. Only shoot it in the backyard in the field. I was like, cool, but I ain't heard nothing he said. As soon as I, he left the room, I called my homeboy. Hey, got me a BB gun. And I bet I can shoot it 10 times better than you. He said, no, you can't. I said, come over here. We're going to have a shoot off. Came over. I was super excited. But the problem was is I had this perfect stump in the front yard of my home. Tree stump. Perfect to set a can on for us to have our shoot off. That's exactly what we did. He gets down on the ground. Whoever can make that can flip the most times is going to win. He aims. Shoots. Can flips three times. We have, ah, you got the can, you got the can, you made it flip three times. I'm like, listen, you ain't did nothing. I'm gonna make that can flip four times. But see, I was so blind because I was so excited. I didn't even pay any attention. We're shooting in the front yard. My pops clearly told me not to do that. Front yard is fence. On the side of the fence is grass. On the side of the grass is street. And on the side of the fence was my daddy's brand new hot rock. Oh, I didn't even see it. I was so excited. So I get there, my turn. I aim. I shoot. And I'm expecting to hear ping. That's not what I heard, y'all. I heard crash. And I hopped them all. Oh, oh, I just shot my daddy's car window out. Oh my God, he gonna kill me. My bro was like, calm down, calm down. I'm like, think, 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 think. Ah, I was about to lose it. Then it hit me like a ton of bricks. I had an unbrilliant idea. That's your problem. You keep coming up with these unbrilliant ideas. Thinking you're going to get away with something. Thinking you're going to be a slick willy. What's done in the dark always comes to light. But anyway, I had an unbrilliant idea. So I'm like, bro, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go grab my basketball. We're going to go to the Berry Park. Neighborhood Park and play, act like we playing basketball. Go play some basketball. Come back 30, 45 minutes later. Exactly what we did. 45 minutes later, we come back up the street. My daddy's inspecting his car window. And he sees me and my boy. He's like, boy, you know what happened to my car window? I'm like, no, sir. You know I'm trying to go to the league. I'm out here trying to work on my game. We've been up at Berry Park balling. For some reason, I don't think he believed me. He's like, I'm going to find out what happened to my car window. I thought we got away with it. I was like, oh, bro, we got away with it. What's done in the dark always comes to light. Three days later, I'm coming home from school after basketball practice. Excited. Stepmom. Little Fred, come here. Oh, it's like, what's going on? It's like I was talking to the lady next door, Miss Pearl. And she was just saying, uh, asking if everything was all right, little Fred. I'm like, what, what do you mean is everything all right, little Fred? And she said, well, I saw him out there shooting that BB gun. I saw him shot, his, shot Big Fred's car window out. I know that he had to tear him up. I was like, oh, the lady next door didn't dime me out, y'all. She was like, so, I ain't gonna tell your daddy. You gotta tell him. I said, but he gonna kill me. And she was like, I know. The young see why I couldn't stand her right. So anyway, I have to muster up the strength and the courage to go tell my daddy what happened to his car. It's like this long walk down the hall. And I knock on the door. Boom, 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 boom. Yep. Daddy, 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 can I come talk to you for a minute? It's like, come in. I was like, you know how your car window, uh, I guess, it, it got broken? It's like, yeah. And, and I said, I, I, I didn't know nothing about what happened. It's like, what, you know what happened to my car window? Well, see, well, see what happened was, is, you know, you got me that, that BB gun? Me, me and... Me and my friend, we were shooting. See who could make the can and flip the most times. And he got down and when he got down and shot, the can went ping and it flipped three times. And when I got ready to shoot, I must have, I must have had like a lazy eye or something. Because when I shot, I shut your car window out. He said, you shot my car window out? Go to your room. Oh, my God. Long walk. 
room was right next to us. It seemed like it took me forever to get there. It seemed like it took him forever to come in. And when he came into the room, he was like, Son? Oh, and he didn't come by himself either. He had a friend. His belt wrapped around his neck. If you would have just told me the truth when it first happened, your punishment would be a lot less severe than it's going to be right now. And I'm like, oh my God. And to this very day, whenever I'm in a situation where my integrity is tested, I always think back to that story. And I don't know if it's the sound of the car window crashing or the pain from the belt that makes me make the right decision. But I always choose integrity. And I'm telling each and every one of you out there, you are going to be tested with situations that put you in a situation to not be honest, to not be truthful, to not be faithful. But please remember little 12 year old Freddie Fry and make the right decision each and every time because I promise you what's done in the dark always, always comes to light. And most of the time when you least expect expect it is when it's going to hit you so if you have good integrity and people can trust you and they know when you say you're going to do something you're going to do it and they feel positive as it relates to you and when your name comes up it's good conversation I promise you you put yourself in a position to win integrity is a must integrity is super important it's a great day to win. Let's go.